All right, well, I've been having uh, a little problem with my uh, Thermocell backpacker, the, uh, the bug fella here. It's not lighting anymore. I always keep the rubber cap on it, but I think there may have been a little bit of dust or something on my tank because I left my tank out while I was camping a couple days ago. And uh, you can't hear any fuel, it's not starting, I can see it spark, so we've stripped it. And, uh, so I guess it's, without the switch, it's normally open. Because when you flip the switch on the side, it'll pinch it up. So it's in the normal open position, through and down. So what I've done is taken the top off as well, moved the sparker out of the way here. And I got a... Just a can of butane for filling my lighters or whatever. And uh, it seems to, with that wire bent out of the way, it seems to fit right in. And if, as long as you hold it right side up, it just blasts air. It's not going to blow the butane fuel. But. And, uh. Unless you have a little compressor or something, that would work too, but. I just have this laying around and thought, eh, why not? And that's what it runs, butane, so I'll give it a try. And like that. Give her a few blasts in case there's any dust. It's a pretty small passageway. You just want to be careful because that's plastic here. I don't know how strong it is. I've seen someone drop one and crack it there and he just epoxied it and it was fine. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to put this all back together here. And, uh, oh yeah, I tried the uh, carb cleaning kit. I got the little kit of needles I tried sticking down in. But because the passageway comes down over, I can't snake anything through there. So the compressed gas was the best option for what I have here in the apartment. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put this back together and we'll give her a whirl in a few minutes here. A few minutes later. Alright, so I've blown her out, i put it back together. And there's just four screws under here that holds this lower piece. You have to pull the rubber off to slide that case off. Which I guess you don't really have to do. Just to get at this top, there's just these four here. But it was just... Nice to know how it all looked inside. So if you get a blockage and it's sparking, but not uh, igniting and getting gas and you can't hear the gas, undo these four screws, pull the top cover off, and then all you'd have to bend this wire. Be very careful you don't snap the white fella here. Just kind of brace it and lift that little sparker wire out of the way. And then all this assembly comes up and out. And uh, that little brass fella sits right underneath of it. And that little brass screen will come off. And uh, yeah, then you can just back blow it while it's not on a tank. And uh, let me get my screen on here so I can make sure this is working. All right, so we turn fuel on. Give her a spark. I'll turn the light off here so you can see. And she's a working. Looky that. Fixed. Turn the fuel off. Nice. Well, there she is, the Thermosil Backpacker. I love this thing. And uh, I always keep this little rubber cap guy. It's got the screws in it right now. That's the cap for the bottom. I always keep that on and in the bag because I'm just worried about the end. But there must have been a little bit of dust on my tank because I use that for my uh, cook stove as well. So before you screw on your tank, if your tank's been laying around or well, even if it's not, it's probably a good idea just to give it a quick blow off and uh, make sure there's no debris sitting in that little uh, needle hole in there. Duh. Hopefully this helped somebody. I've uh, I messaged uh, or emailed Thermosol yesterday about it. 
Anyway, I haven't heard back from them yet. I've heard they're really good for their uh, warranty and they stand behind their stuff, but I can't afford to have this thing down for any length of time because <laughs> it really does work and I love this thing. So, there you go. Hopefully, uh, this little video may help somebody.